Know your risk for bleeding. When you have cancer, many changes can happen to your body. For some, these changes include how well your body is able to stop bleeding from cuts or wounds. It is important to know if you are at risk for bleeding so you can take steps to be safe. To begin, let's go over the types of cells in your blood and the role of one type called platelets to stop bleeding. There are three main types of blood cells. Red blood cells, which carry oxygen to your body's cells and tissues. White blood cells, which help to fight infection. And platelets. Platelets work by sticking together to form blood clots, which help stop bleeding. Platelets are made in your bone marrow. The bone marrow is found in the spongy middle part of the large bones in your body. Cancer can cause your body to not make platelets as it should, or your body may remove the platelets too quickly. If you do not have enough platelets, you may develop a condition called thrombocytopenia. A platelet count that is very low may put you at a higher risk of bleeding. Your doctor will check your platelets regularly using a test called a complete blood count, sometimes called a CBC. This test is done by taking a blood sample. The normal range for platelets can vary a small amount between labs and will be listed on your lab report. In most cases, a normal platelet count range is 150,000 to 400,000. Letters may follow these numbers, such as K slash UL or MM3. Anytime your platelets drop below 50,000, you are at risk for bleeding. Your bleeding risk grows even higher if your platelets drop below 20,000. There are many causes of low platelets or thrombocytopenia. Some cancer-related causes include cancers of the blood or bone marrow, such as leukemia or lymphoma, or cancer that is in the spleen. Low platelets can also be from cancer cells that have spread, called metastasis, from other areas of your body. These cancer cells may change the ability of your bone marrow to work properly. Certain chemotherapy medicines or biological therapies can lead to a low platelet count. This change is based on the type of medicine you are receiving, the dose or strength of this medicine, and how often you receive it. Platelets are usually at their lowest about 10 to 14 days after you receive these types of medicines. However, each medicine may have a different impact on your body. Ask your healthcare team for more information on how the medicine you take may affect your platelet count. Thrombocytopenia from these medicines is usually temporary. Rarely do these medicines cause long-term problems with your body's ability to make platelets. Radiation therapy, especially if it is given in the areas around your pelvis or other large bones, can lead to a low platelet count. This happens most often if you receive both radiation and chemotherapy at the same time, or if radiation is given to large parts of your body. Things other than cancer can cause low platelets. This includes certain medicines such as heparin, antibiotics, or antiviral medicines, kidney disease, or certain types of bacterial or viral infections. Unless your platelet count is very low, you probably will not notice any signs to know if you have this problem. However, call your doctor right away if you see skin bruising that is more than expected from a simple bump or an unknown injury. This includes bruising that is purple, red, or brown and can sometimes look like a rash. 
broken blood vessels in the white of your eye, nosebleeds, or unusual bleeding from your gums when brushing your teeth. Let your doctor know about any unusual spotting or bleeding from the vagina, or menstrual periods that are heavier or last longer than usual. Call if you have new pain in your muscles or joints, or bleeding that does not stop after you have applied pressure over a small cut for five to 10 minutes. If you do have bleeding, for nosebleeds, tilt your head forward. Pinch your nose tightly for five to 10 minutes before releasing. You can also apply ice over the bridge of your nose. If bleeding continues for more than 10 minutes, call your doctor. Do not pick or forcefully blow your nose once bleeding has stopped. If your mouth or gums are bleeding, rinse your mouth with ice water. You can also suck on a popsicle. If you can reach the area, apply gentle pressure until the bleeding stops. Call 911 for any serious bleeding. This includes black bowel movements, blood in the stool, or rectal bleeding, vomiting blood, or dark brown vomit that looks like coffee grounds, severe stomach ache, or coughing up blood. Call if you have blood in your urine, which may look pink, red, or brown. Or headaches that come on suddenly, are severe in nature, or do not get better. This includes blurred vision, dizziness, or a change in your level of consciousness, such as feeling very sleepy, weak, or confused. Go to the emergency room if you have a large amount of skin bruising or vaginal bleeding that does not stop. Call 911 for any bleeding that you cannot stop in 10 minutes, even when pressure is applied, such as with nosebleeds or cuts. If you are in doubt, do not delay in seeking medical attention. Bleeding can be life-threatening during periods when your platelet count is very low. Your healthcare team may decide treatment is needed based on your symptoms or if your platelet count is very low. Some actions your doctor may take include delaying your cancer treatment. For example, you may have to wait until your platelet level rises to be able to continue with chemotherapy or schedule a surgery. The type or dose of chemotherapy medicine you are taking may need to be changed. You may also need to wait longer between your chemotherapy treatments. Your doctor may suggest a medicine to boost your bone marrow to make more platelets. And in some cases, a platelet transfusion may be suggested. Platelets only last for about three days so repeated transfusions may be needed. It is important to take steps to reduce your risk of bleeding if you have a low platelet count. This should include telling your healthcare team about any medicines you take. This includes blood thinners, aspirin, or products that contain aspirin, anti-inflammatory drugs, cold remedies, herbal or dietary supplements. Any of these medicines may change the way your platelets work. Check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking over-the-counter medicine to make sure it is safe to take when your platelets are low. Let them know about your platelet count before any surgery, dental, or medical procedures, or before you receive any injections or shots. Ask if it is okay for you to do complementary therapies that use pressure or massage techniques, such as acupuncture, yoga, or chiropractic therapy. Check to see if it is safe to drink alcohol. 
Do not do activities such as contact sports that may cause head, chest, or abdominal trauma, bruising, or bleeding. This includes activities that put you at risk for falls, such as riding bicycles or climbing ladders. To prevent falls, ask for help with walking if you are not steady on your feet. Do not use sharp objects such as razors, knives, scissors, or saws to avoid injuries and bleeding. You may carefully use an electric razor when shaving. Use a nail file with rounded ends instead of a nail clipper when grooming fingernails and toenails. Use a humidifier to add moisture in the air, especially if you have the heat on in your home. Blow your nose gently, not forcefully, using a soft tissue. Watch for nosebleeds, especially after sneezing. Use sanitary napkins instead of tampons and do not douche. Do not take rectal temperatures or use rectal suppositories or enemas. If you have nausea, ask your doctor for medicine to prevent vomiting. Do your best to not become constipated or strain when passing stool. Ask your healthcare team if you should use stool softeners or laxatives. Drink six to eight glasses of non-alcoholic, non-caffeinated fluids each day and eat food high in fiber. Exercise, such as walking, is also helpful. Do not wear tight clothing, including undergarments, pants, belts, tight elastic sleeves, or rough fabrics. Wear gloves when gardening to protect your hands from injury. And wear shoes or slippers at all times to protect your feet. Do not get manicures, pedicures, waxing, electrolysis, or tattoos. Use lotion to keep your skin moist. Eat soft foods to prevent injury to your mouth. Do not eat crusty or rough foods, such as nuts, crackers, chips, or pretzels, which may cause cuts inside your mouth. Keep your mouth clean and moist. Brush your teeth gently with a soft bristle toothbrush or a sponge swab called a toothette. Do not use mouthwashes that contain alcohol. Alcohol can dry out your mouth and lead to bleeding. Ask if you need to stop flossing your teeth based on your platelet level. Do not use an electric toothbrush or toothpicks. Use petroleum jelly or lip balms to keep your lips moist and prevent cracking. Talk to your doctor about what types of sexual activity are safe based on your platelet count. Water-based lubricants may be suggested. Certain sexual activities should not be done when your platelets are very low. This may include no oral, vaginal, or anal sex. Talk to your healthcare provider about your lifestyle and things you can do to prevent bleeding while your platelet count is low. We hope this information has helped you to better understand how to manage bleeding risks when your platelets are low. Write down any questions you might have for your healthcare team and bring them with you to each appointment. We are honored to care for you during your cancer treatment. Thank you for choosing the James.